Welcome to Sunday Science, where we show you how to do simple experiments using objects that you can find in your own home. My name is Nat, and today we're going to be exploring the oddity in nature, which is a non-Newtonian fluid. Now, a non-Newtonian fluid is a fluid that changes its properties under different conditions, such as putting a fluid under stress and it becoming a solid. Now, you might not realise it, but non-Newtonian fluids are quite common, and you might have one in your house already without realising it. You will need corn flour or custard powder, it doesn't matter which one. You'll need water, and you can add some food colouring to this water if you want to have a colourful non-Newtonian fluid. You'll need a container, like a bowl or something that you want to mix your fluid in, and you'll need a spoon to help you out with that. So the first thing you need to do is take your corn flour or your custard powder and put some into a bowl. Now you need roughly four or five tablespoons of the powder into the container, but it depends how much you want to make. The next thing you need to do is to add your water into your, into your bowl with your powder in it. Now you only need to add a very small amount to start with and then you start mixing it because you don't want it to be too runny, you need to make a very thick paste. So now all you need to do is play with your non-Newtonian fluid. You might have noticed whilst you were mixing that it gets very difficult to actually mix the substances together. So if you take your spoon away and do it with your hand, you should notice that you can roll it and you can make a solid ball. But what happens when you leave it? It starts becoming a liquid again. So what's happening in your non-Newtonian fluid that it can go from a solid to a liquid and back to a solid again? Well, unlike when you try and dissolve sugar in water and the sugar dissolves entirely in your water solution, the corn flour doesn't actually dissolve, it's suspended in the water. It's actually made up of tiny particles of starch and these starch particles are surrounded by water which allows it to flow like a liquid. But when you put pressure on your non-Newtonian liquid, you're actually squeezing out those water particles from in between the starch and it becomes a solid again. But as soon as you relieve that pressure, the water seeps back in in between and causes a liquid state. And that's it, you have made your non-Newtonian fluid. Other experiments you could do with this is to compare a non-Newtonian fluid made out of corn flour to one made out of custard powder or trying to run your non-Newtonian fluids down a slope. Don't forget, share your results with us using our social media and leave comments down below.